bloody air and then charging us interest on it. And it works like this. If you go into a bank and you, uh, you borrow $50,000, what does the bank do? Does it, does it move precious metal anywhere? I mean, what does it do? What it does is it types into your account $50,000. And from that moment, you start paying interest on $50,000 that has never, does not, and will never exist. Fresh air, theoretical money called credit. A bank not only assists in the transfer of credit, but it also creates credit. To see how this is done, we'll follow Richard Morton into the loan department of the bank. Since Mr. Morton is known to the bank as a reliable man, the banker can feel reasonably certain that Mr. Morton will be able to repay the loan when it comes due. So the banker is glad to make the loan. Mr. Morton writes out a promissory note. This is a promise to pay the money back to the bank at a certain time, in this case, in 30 days. As so often happens in a bank, no money changes hands. The amount Mr. Morton has borrowed is simply credited to his account, minus the interest which the bank charges for this service. Now Mr. Morton has obtained his loan. He has increased his bank credit by nearly $2,000. But this credit was not transferred to him from some other account. So where did it come from? Laws have been passed called fractional reserve lending that allow banks to lend at least, and my goodness it's at least, 10 times what they have on deposit. So when you put a dollar in a bank, that bank can now lend 9, 10 that it does not have. Fresh air, figures on a screen. Not only that, you borrow $50,000 from a bank. What does it do? It types into your account $50,000. Okay, now you're paying interest on it. But you take $10,000 and you say, I'm going to buy that car. And you give $10,000 to the guy who owns the car to buy the car off him. Now the guy who's received your $10,000 that was created out of nothing in the original 50,000 now goes and deposits the 10 grand in his own bank. Now that bank can lend 10 times the 10 grand that was created out of nothing in the first place. This is what's going on. And then if you follow one loan, $50,000 or whatever, you follow that through the banking system and that one loan allows the banking system as a whole to create...